Hello YouTubers, this is Linux Mint Guy and I'm here to show you a new fan control method for the new Linux Mint because the new Linux Mint just came out a couple of days ago, I think it's version 22 and I've just installed it. Really quick, I'm going to install Hardware Sensors Monitor. And since I'm here, I might as well do System Monitor. Now I'm just going to toggle these really quick. My system reads the GPU as temp1 for whatever reason. So there we go. Now the only thing I have displayed is my graphics card temperature. Whoever designed the BIOS on this graphics card made it so that the fan only spins up when the card heats up. The problem is with that to have consistent heat all the time wears out your hardware faster. Now if you've watched my previous videos you know how I always install Radeon Profile to get fan control over the graphics card. But this is what happens in the new Linux Mint if you try to install this repo. This PPA does not support Noble so no more Radeon Profile. But fear not, I have another software solution. If you've installed a new Linux Mint and you don't have any fan control, you need a program called LACT. Linux AMD GPU Configuration Tool. Oh, what you've got to do here is click on the releases and I had to get this one AMD 64 oh well this one 2404 you can just go ahead and click on the file right out of the downloads and then click install package you're gonna to have to put in your password here I'll show you a good way to do this. You want to go down here to your system tools. That's where it's at. Just run lact. Now this is very nice. It gives you the command line to do this. You just want to highlight this. Right click and go copy. Might as well set up my startup applications. Mm, excuse me. Okay, I'm only going to leave those active. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one, and for the startup program, write in Lack Damon for the name. I'm going to give it a 30 second delay, just like I used to do Radeon Profile. And for the command, I'm just going to right click and go paste. Click add, and now you won't have to worry about running this manually from now on. But for now, we can just run it manually. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out, right click and go paste, exit, okay I can prove right now that this works, click thermals and static, it's already set to 50% which is what I always use anyways, I'm just going to click apply, and you will see the temperature go down. It usually goes down to 38 to 41 on here, but it's not going to go that low because I'm running OBS Studio. If you've watched my previous video, the AMD GPU driver has experimental support for Southern Islands and Sea Islands cards, and I believe full support for newer cards. Now this is how you find out what graphics driver you're using. Kernel modules, Radeon AMD GPU, Radeon is the driver currently in use. So, I've already tested this and I'm here to report 
the fix that I gave in my previous video still works. You can switch over from Radeon to AMD GPU driver and then you can have full Vulcan use. Fascinating. This is what you've got to do and I'm just going to try to put this text right in the description of this video. You want to highlight this right here, right click and click copy. Okay, then you want to load your file manager, go to file, open as administrator. And I'm just going to go ahead and close the first window because I don't need it. You want to go to file system to actually go to your root. Uh, slash Etsy slash default slash grub. Now, I'm also going to get rid of this quiet splash, but you can keep this if you want. I personally prefer all the long lines of text and everything. It, I feel like it gives it a little bit more life. You want to right click, or I mean you want to highlight the quotes and everything in between them. Right click on this and click paste. As long as you highlighted the quotes that were in the line. Then you just go to save the current file. Uh, close all this out. Go to your command line and do this. My bad. I forgot the dash. That's it. It's done. I'm going to exit this right now. I'm going to reboot and once I reboot I'll be using the other video driver. Okay, I've just rebooted and just to let you know this background here is just one of the new wallpapers in the new version of Linux Mint. I'm just going to go ahead and move these really quick because they look awkward. And then I'm going to show you a couple things on the command line. So the first thing I should do is this. Oops. Ah, that's the key. I can never see the stupid pipe key. Okay, I'm only getting one line back, which tells me it's probably using this. Yep, AMD GPU for kernel driver. So, if you want to see if Vulkan is working, you're going to have to go sudo apt install Vulkan dash dash tools. I've already done this, so I really don't need to. But after you install it, you're going to want to go Vulkan info dash dash summary. If you look in this list here and you see your graphics card listed right there, it's working and your Vulkan drivers are going to have full support. Unless it has the word RAD V, which mine does, unfortunately, because it's a GC and 1.0 graphics card. Can't do direct X11 or 12 on this machine. I can only do direct X9 when I'm running programs through Wine. But I just wanted to show you this as a quick way to check if your Vulkan works and what driver you're running. One good thing I want to point out is that as soon as I rebooted, I ran this program here and all my settings were automatically saved. This is not like in Radeon profile where you have to go into the configuration and save all these settings manually. This just does it for you. Great program in my opinion. And it's got my graphics card fan speed under control. Okay, I think that's all that I have for you right now. I may discover more problems and more solutions as I experiment more with Linux Mint version 22. I want to say thank you to all the people who make Linux Mint because I've just been so obsessed with this operating system for such a long time now. And thank you to everyone who views these videos, watches, and subscribes, and everything else. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.